What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. This is actually the first time I've ever done this. So if you're tuning in, you know, good for you. I think this is going to be a great day. Grant is obviously a great teacher. We've never actually had like kind of some one-on-one -on -one time together, kind of working on a couple things that I feel like I need to work on in my swing. And obviously for me, there is no end to learning and getting better and my whole goal is just to get better at golf every day so it's kind of like i can look at my swing and i can analyze it through video and i can you know make tweaks but having having somebody who knows the golf swing really well and can really um you know put into to words some things that i don't quite understand is going to be awesome so shout out to grant for um doing this with me today we're in the good good office it's a great place to be doing this we have the track man, he can look at numbers. We can really see and visualize what, what needs to happen. There's there's just a couple small things that I'm kind of working on. Nothing real big, but I think, I think it's gonna be cool to see Grant's perspective on this and see how we might can make some progress. And uh, I think I need to clean my lens, but yeah, let's get into it. I think it's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna hit some balls and get warm and then uh, we're gonna jump right into this. But it's just gonna be information. So, you know, take this, apply it to your own game where you feel like you need to and hopefully I can help you guys as well. So here we go, let's get into this. I'm excited. Also, remember that at 250,000 subscribers, I am giving away the one and only, the inf my infamous two iron. Um, it's gonna be really hard to part ways with this club, but I wanna, you guys have been so awesome and supported me so well. And that is just a small, small way. I know it's not n nothing huge right now, but it's a small way that I can give back to one of you guys. So at 250,000, I'm gonna be giving that club away to one of you guys. So hit the subscribe button if you have, you have to be subscribed to the channel in order to have a chance to win that. So let's get into today's video. Thanks for tuning in. This is gonna be a great day. <sighs> All right, so I made it over to the simulator. We've hit, he's, he's watched me play a lot of golf. Mm -hmm. There's been a couple like things in my, in my game that, I've, that I feel frustrated with. And uh, we, like, we'll be on the range and Grant will, you know, we'll talk about it for a couple minutes before we head out to the course. But today is gonna be kind of a focused, it's gonna be kind of a lesson, like I've never actually done this. So Grant, he has some things that he already knows and he's gonna you know, watch me hit some balls, but I mean, yeah. just kind of. Yeah, I mean, what, like, like, like Tig just said, when we're on the range, I'll, I'll give them little things before we go out and play, but we don't have much time to actually work on it. So yeah. today, we're really gonna work on the swing. I mean, we're just gonna really work hard on it today and get to that next level. Um, we recently just came from a trip, and I know, I mean, we, none of that content has come out for good, good yeah. yet, but the miss was a little bit low and left. Mm -hmm. So that was the miss we were dealing with. Today, I really wanna work on releasing your spine and getting a bigger turn. Because yeah. if you guys know, Tig has a short backswing. He gets a little shut and short sometimes, and that's when you hit that quick left miss mm -hmm. or those spinny rights because you're yeah. hitting down and across. So today we're gonna work on really making a big full backswing and getting our weight through because you hang back too. Those are yeah. the two things that happen. You get shut and short and hang back on your back foot. Mm -hmm. Today we're gonna make a big turn and get to your left side more, get through the ball and look like Tiger Woods. It's, yeah. it's kind of the model. That's, all, that's what I always think of in my head. I, don't, I know not everybody can swing like Tiger, but mm -hmm. that's, what we're always trying to get to is that like that yeah. really good balance follow through weight through so this is going to be good i think that um you know hopefully i can you know make some make some minor adjustments but i just there's there's kind of times when i feel like i plateau and i always this is i'm kind of at that moment right now and i'm ready to just like yeah you know keep breaking the ceiling for myself and you know pushing pushing higher so that's let's get golf. into this that yeah. is golf like you're always when you feel like you're actually going down that's when you're about to start going back up yeah like it's always it's an it's a roller coaster, but today I'm really excited because we're going to hit it farther. We're yeah. going to hit it a lot farther and we're going to hit it straighter. That's crazy. I Two mean, goal. if I can figure out how to optimize my driver, I think we can. I think I can start to see some lower scores on the course. So let's get into it. It's going to be a good day and uh, yeah, let's get some work done. Let's go. Just start with like your, I'd, probably, I'd go like a seven iron. The pitch why anybody can hit straight. Yeah. But a seven iron, six so iron. Weird, though, like I'll do practice swings here and you'll be like, that's so good. And I'll go to hit the ball and everything just kind of like blocks. So. Right. Like if you guys like do your practice, like, I mean, do that rehearsal where you're just normally releasing your spine there, just like that. That's literally it. That's it. Just get like, you need to do one, two, like one, two, ready? One, do one more, two, and now get, move up and hit it before you can even think. Like it needs to be just like that. Feel that? Yeah. Like it needs to be like, that was beautiful. Because you can do it, it's just when you get over it, there's something that changes in your mind. Something. Especially with my longer clubs. Yeah. Because like with a 50, with a 50 or a wedge, like I can, you know, I can get all the power I need from here for a wedge. Right. But when I have longer clubs. Well, I noticed your two iron, 
and first sell, you're hitting low left because your face is getting shut. And your backswing, you had no loft exposed. So you were super shut coming into it because your turn was not getting the face open. So do two, I want two swings. One, boom. There you go. See that? And that Look how straight that is. I, want to get, I actually want to get a video of this for myself because that was, that was money. Right, I've, watched, I've watched your move so many times. Like when you're over it, you almost, once you get like frozen over it, you do a re-grip and you turn your head. So you go, like you do something where you re-grip your, you go like that, and then it's super short here. Yeah. And right. it also feels really, like it's really hard to stay like in posture and I'll almost like at the top of my swing and there's just so much tension. It's just like. Right. You want to you coil, but you don't want a ton of tension. There, one, one more, two, and then just boom, tap, go. There. I mean, it's like you have it in the bag. It's just a matter of just doing a thousand reps where you just naturally incorporate it. And like, does that, does that, because it feels like, feels like I'm like up there forever. Right. Well, it's just longer. Yeah. It's just longer. But you're not long, like you're not past parallel. Yeah. Your rehearsal is, but once you actually hit it, you're not past parallel. There you go. Rehearsal there. Good. Yes, there you go. Money. There you go. Yeah, right. we just got to get less restrictive so we can make a bigger coil. Like, imagine you're going to hit it further than you already do if you get that trail right arm deeper. Like, getting that a little like, bit. Yeah, there. Like that stretch. Just that stretch from the top. There. That feeling there is just what you need to. Dude, that was powerful. It's like you can do it, it's just a matter of like one, two, and then just go. Like you can't get over the ball and think. It's gotta yeah. be one. It's actually react, react to the target. A little shorter there. A little yeah, bit felt, shorter. Felt yeah, you didn't even barely set your wrist much. I mean, that's still fine. Like, you got away with it. That's just your old swing. And it's probably just gonna take some getting used to, but it feels like. It feels like when I'm that far away from the ball, it feels like I'm struggling to like, it feels like I'm going to lose it. But the it, club feel, it feels like I'm so far from the ball being back here. Right, right. It's just a long, it's a different timing than you're used to. You're, you're used to that real short, little quick. And that's when you hit those low left two irons, because yeah. it just gets too short and too shot. You have no loft exposed. So I just like that drill one, you can hit the ground two, and then just go. Like it's almost like, yeah, like that's the feeling. Mm -hmm. See that? That's the proper sequence in the swing. Like there's times when I like, I'll be here practicing. And I'll be like, I'll do a drill, like go to the top and stop, and I'll stop right here. And there's literally like every single muscle in my body just feels like a rubber band, like right. it's so tight. And that's not a bad thing though. You want to coil, but it's to a level that you're like coiled in a free motion. Stopped. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like a nice loose coil. Yeah. Like Rory, Rory's, Rory's coil, but he's like still loose. I was almost out really good, really close. It was a little short. But it was, like, it was super close. And you were wondering a lot about your club face too. I mean, we, had, we do have a video coming out really soon on Good Good Labs talking about like club faces and stuff. But that was like a huge thing too, was your club face. You remember, you were like, you were, like so confused why you couldn't match right. up. Like it gets, it, it was, it, like, it's like, it feels really close. It's right, like, exactly, and that's because you can't, your wrists, like your arms don't rotate external when your backswing's that short, they only go like internal, mm -hmm. like here, and they get stuck. Mm -hmm. When you get it longer and flowing, they, they rotate more external. There, see how they're like probably, opening? It probably isn't that like better already. Yeah, your forearms rotate more external, there. There you go, face is open there more. You're just gonna get high and straight. Oh That's, nice. That's the issue in golf, if you go like this way here, your only move, this is why you would occasionally have a shank. So if you go all internal like this, mm -hmm. like a Matt Wolf, yeah. Matt Wolf, he reroutes it this way. And you used to do the same thing, but if you're not good at timing that up and you reroute it too much, the hosel's gonna leave. Oh. So the hosel's gonna work out towards the ball, that's when you hit a shank. But if you go a little bit more like external here and you're more open, then you're always gonna wanna come and close the face down. So you're never gonna really shake it. You're not gonna be working the hosel out towards the ball. Yeah. It's reversing your pattern. It's kind of like a dangerous place to be. I mean, that's okay though. Like a lot, like a lot of, like everybody, the perfect takeaway starts a little bit right here and then you gotta let the toe stand up a little bit. 
Yeah. Like there's a certain point. And I liked feeling the the hand, like the club head outside yeah, yeah. my hands. But like feeling that all the way to the top is not really, to me that just doesn't feel right for me. Right. There you go. You're just releasing your spine so much better right now. There's no tension. I've seen, even in just recent videos, like when I'm not swinging, it, it's my... Right, the left shoulder, left but shoulder that's, drop. That's probably just simply like subconsciously trying to get a little more. But that can, that, that you can get stuck. If your left shoulder drops too much, it restricts your turn as well. Mm -hmm. Like you almost need to feel like that. Like that lets your, your, your like spine release the more you go up and back. But if you go down and left and reverse pivot, you're like stuck. Yeah. Your arm swing can only go so far. Yeah. All right, so that's, that's making a, a, a big difference and also feels less stressful on my body. Yeah, so let's do that drill where we go one, two. So inside the ball, drop the club head inside here right there. Now one, two, like two, practice practice two practice swings, and then on the third, step into it. One, two, and now step into it. There you go. You have no time to think, you're just reacting. Yeah. So if it's one, oh man, these are heavy. One, two, and then you're stepping in when the club's here, you're so stepping into stop. it. Yeah, so don't, oh, don't okay, stop. So it's like, one, it goes one, two, and then three, and you're hitting the ball. So there's no time to like free yeah, it up. Yeah. That's a drill that a lot of people do, the line up balls, mm -hmm. just to really get the feeling of a, a free back swing. One, two, and then just go. There. I, I, it's not really, that's just the feeling of the back swing. Yeah. One, two, there you go. That sequence is so good right there. Yeah. That's what I like love. Because you stepped into it perfect. Mm -hmm. Like your transition, there was no rush. I like that takeaway of that, like feeling that. That's good. Oh, hey, that backswing, that is money. That backswing is I've never seen exactly. that. I felt right. in my swing. I've noticed recently with my, like with all my clubs, my hip just goes a very little bit on my backswing. Well, that's you want that. You I know. No, it doesn't open, but there it actually was open. Right, you want it to more. Right. Yeah. I want, like, that's one thing that Garrett he'll look on, well, he'll look on his swing on video and be like, I hate that my hips are coiling like this. He, he hates when his right hip gets back too far. I love it. See, that's where we like. He wants to keep it more restricted. That's mm -hmm. called the X factor when you keep it super restricted like this. But that puts a lot of strain on your lower back. Yeah, and I can. Yeah. So the more you open up that lower body, it's actually good on your body. Like, the more you just release it. Let it come back. Your, your club path, you're like right here, this number is so long because it's like 0.6 to 1.5 every time. Yeah. So you're almost, you're perfectly one degree into out. So you're only you're like right on top of it. So you're gonna have no curve. You're yeah. gonna, it's just gonna be dead straight like that. I mean, I will say one thing that you've always done is you, you hang back a little bit. Like with your short back swing, you know how you're almost hitting off your back foot the whole time? Yeah. This back foot never releases. Mm -hmm. And that's again to do because of your back swing. You don't make a good sequence into your left side, so all you do is stay back and manipulate the face here. Yeah. So you're back here, and this is like what you used to be like. You're hitting all on your back foot. Yeah. Now, once you make this longer back swing, you sequence into your left, and you're getting off of your back foot quicker. Yeah. So you're moving into your left side. So once you get up, you can feel that weight just moving to your left side quicker. There you go. That was killed. 1.4 yeah. in to out, 206 carry. And as long as you're following through and like every time, because I know like you you probably watched your swing a million times on video and you yeah. notice your back foot, how it like late. It stays back. It will go like this. Yeah, my hands go. No, but like your back right foot will do this late. Like you're like here and then like after, you, way after you make contact, you go like this. You go a little bit farther. Really? Like you always, your back foot will stop here and then it will go around. You've probably, I mean, you've yeah. probably noticed that it's just something really small. That's because your weight's staying back too long. There you go. Let's get off. Yeah, push all that weight onto here. Mm -hmm. I just want everything. That was really good contact. I just want everything off your back foot. And I think, do you think sometimes my stance get a little wide and that's really hard to, or not really? I mean, that a wider stance restricts your lower body. So it is harder to make a big turn, the wider you get. You don't need to have a real wide stance with your iron. Only the driver. There you go. 
But even then, I still want to see more of a push. I mean, that was perfect. You yeah. can't do it much better. Even then, though, we're looking for perfection right now. We're trying to, yeah, we're trying to really push into that left side. So when you follow through, really move all your weight to your left side. There, get off that back foot. All your weight needs to be here. There you go. Is that that feels? And I know it's only two point one, but it feels like it. The train, it feels like this. Right, and I want you to feel that exactly. I want you to feel like Alex Norn. You ever watch him? How he's like yeah. this? He's trying to move and hold the face through ball through the ball. So your low point should be like down here. So it's ball, then the, you hit the ground like out here. There. Oh boy, that, did you feel that sequence? Yeah. That was like you just stuck that. You were like boom. You really yeah. stuck it. Like your weight got through. And, and that feels crazy, but it doesn't even like you're still. That's just like normal weight yeah. transfer. There you go. Look how look at the like. There's no curve on that. That's and now your path is zeroed out. Point two in the out. So you were just you're pretty much coming square onto the wall. Mm -hmm. And now you can just hold your face. You you held your face point three. So that was dead straight. Two hundred yards seven on dead straight. Do you feel like there's any? Like, am I turning like on a, just a one axis here, I or is there any? I, see, that's one thing. Do you like to see like a little release? I do. So, a lot of people say like there's an analogy like you're you're turning within a box. So if there's yeah. two lines going up here, you're inside this box. I mean, that's a great that is a great way. I don't mind if you're slightly moving. Because Tiger did that. Yeah, he turned within a box. Yeah. I mean, he had the best turn. Well, he also, ever. but like with his driver, he there was a little lateral movement right. sometimes off of it. Exactly. When he was young too. Yeah. So I don't mind it. You can come just outside the box a little bit. You don't need to be perfectly inside. Boom. That was more. That was a little bit more in to out. Let's just say that happens, but I necessarily wasn't expecting it. What is? You, do you know what causes that? That's when your weight hangs back longer. Ooh, when you hang back longer, your path is going to get more to the inside. When you move this way, you're going to stay on top of it. So you're moving more left. There you go. So if you move left like that, you'll zero it out. 1.5, yeah. help the face. Because I've actually always thought that the more that I shift forward, the more it comes to inside. No. So I've been thinking bass backwards. Yeah. Let's hit a two iron and see. Yeah, let's, let's get some height on a two iron. I just, I've always noticed you've hung back on your back foot a long time, and that's yeah. just always, it's okay. So there's successful people out there that do it. It's just not ideal. It's not something that I recommend. Now we're the same thing. We're trying to get height on this. Release it and now push off your back. There, same. Everything's the same. Even with your driver, it's the same. There go. I was low, too, but like that's dead straight sink. Yeah. I'll be honest. This club's gonna be hard to get in the air unless I put on teeth. Yeah. No matter yeah. what, it's hard to get in the air. But we let's let's get it in the air. I know it's hard, but let's do it right now. Move it nice and up. We're gonna do it. Okay. Now long, long flowing backswing. Closer, a little higher. higher. A little more. A little more, yes. You gotta really exaggerate with this two iron. Long and flowing. That's how you're gonna get it high, if you get it nice and flowing. There we go. That's straight. I mean, that's, to me, just, it's like a two iron. I mean, this club, like, we, it was designed to not really get up in the air. So that, like, that, to me, that's, like, it's not, if I'm not a T, I can get it up in the air a little bit, but off of the deck like this, it's really, really hard. Right. Weight's a little back too much. Okay. Start. That was better. Um, to start too, that's another big thing. Let's let's get over it. Oh. Let's get your setup a little better. So to start, now your stance a little bit. There. Okay. Now you we'll start with your weight a little bit more left. There. Now do your normal swing. Transition everything. So the stance is a little bit more narrow. Now let it go. Okay. Do it again. The more narrow you make your stance, the more I feel like you can get height on it because you're going to be able to push up long. If you're wide like this, it's hard to get height. Okay. You're going to hit it lower. So narrow your stance a little bit. There we go. Weight left. Now, long, nice and flowing. You still, before you went off there, you went like this and you still shut it. Really? So you went like this a little bit. Okay. So our first move, we're going to exaggerate, we're going to open the face more and hit our wrist like that. And it, like almost feel like you're looking back at your club face under the back swing. I want to hit this thing high. I know you can get it up in the air. You have the speed to get this up in the air. Go. There you go. There you go. That's going to be the closest one. 
Oh yeah. This is when you when things go wrong. The head moves this way, so you go before you go off. You go. You do this thing, and the face goes shut. Mm. So this is the death trap here. Yeah. You're not going to be able to hit off two iron high from this position. Yeah. Like you're you like tuck your chin in here and this yeah. is shut. I can feel that. So if we do the complete opposite where our head's moving more this way and we're opening our spine, now we have loft exposed. So now it's like open and then we can just hang back and really just launch it. Yeah. Close, close, close. Come on. There we go. I like that one. It's like if I hit a four iron, it's probably gonna be because like that club honestly is like I can't even hit the end of the box really. Oh my gosh, I mean that is low, man. Oh, that was good. That's a, I mean, that's a standard four iron. Yeah. 240 carry on a four iron. Which is, that was so, that to me right there was just, that was a huge improvement. Like you just naturally, you barely moved your head, you naturally did everything better on it. This is the club that if I can start to understand a little better is when I can start to like take advantage of it. Because I don't really take advantage of it right now. What, your driver? Yeah. Oh, I agree. And we're really, today we're focusing on attack angle and tap. So when you want this today to be positive, and we want this to be positive. I know you like to fade your driver. That's okay. We still need to hear, we still need to be hitting up on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> chomp. Let that tee was gonna hit me. So look, this is the main thing. This is what happened. Pack angle's fine, okay, but this is our issue. Mm -hmm. Our path is out to end. Yeah. So we're hitting a little bit across the ball, and that's what's spinning it. Yeah. So we actually still gotta hit the inside of the driver. Move your feet this way just a little bit, almost back in your stance. There we go. There we go. That's a crazy thing to say, but that will help you get more to the inside. A little bit more back in your stance. There we go. Five degrees into out there. Is that? That I'm, just changed. You just went from two across to five to out just by ball position. Yeah. That's nuts. Now, does that ball position feel back? Yeah. Okay, stop. Don't move. That's like right on the heel. Right on the heel. That is. It literally a centimeter back. Yeah. That's a perfect straight line. Well, when it gets too far forward, it's impossible. To... Well, what, when it gets too far forward, what happens is you first start to swipe. So you hit down and left, okay? Yeah. You're hitting, you're hitting this cut, but what happens is you're hitting the upper half of the ball. Mm -hmm. So that's spinning it too. When you move it back, you're coming in at the perfect time to move up on it. Yeah. You understand? You don't want it too far forward. All you're gonna notice is your attacking is gonna be down. Yeah. See that? So you see that? Yeah. Which that's your old kind of numbers. Yeah. Which which we don't want. I mean, that feels comfortable to you, but that right there, it's just not. I mean, that's not ideal. You hit a 1.49 smash, which is great, but it's look, your tack angle's down there. Yeah. Tap is. It's just it's not ideal. See now, those are all those positive numbers. That's it. That was your best swing of the day. That was your best swing of the day right there. 351 total, 149. Those are the numbers we need to hit right there. 4.6 up. Yeah. The last one was negative. You're hitting yeah. down. This was up. Path was in to out. Face was good. Smash was great. 351. I mean, that, okay. that's, that one you need to just, that's your staple shot right there. A high draw. I know you like to fade your drive. You can still hit fade, but right now we, gotta, we just got to stop spinning and hitting across. Do it back a little more. There we go. There, perfect. I mean, that that looks aggressive here. There's no way. But, like, that's barely going to be left side of the fairway. I know, because <laughs> your face is literally, it's like barely, it's not even close. It's completely square. I just don't get how this contraption is picking up that much. There you go. Right. That was actually, I think I held on. No. Oh, oh, nice. They must just feel like that. That was funny. High draw, that's your staple shot right there. Look at those numbers. Like, dude, those, those numbers are absurd. That's like past Roy, like that's past for RA DJ, everyone. And that spin at 2000 is a month. That's past everybody on tour. Right, no, still, just on the left side, you got a nice tight draw. What the heck is going on right now? That's that actually insane. I, I don't even feel like I, it feels like I'm just. It doesn't even feel like I'm swinging hard right now. I hope people like realize how fast you're actually swinging. It. 129 club head speed, 94 ball speed. Like that is absurd numbers. 360 total. 
Like, I don't even feel like I'm swinging hard. It's like you're hitting at 360 right now. I know. Like, you're just cruising at 360. This is scary. Who? What is going on right now? That's going to be one five in a row. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, guys. Well, I've hit a bunch of balls, and we the changes that I made today feel astronomical. Like it feels amazing. Yeah. And huge shout out to Grant. Yes, this sir. Is, I, I've been wanting to do this for a while because I know that he watches me hit the club. He watches me hit balls all the time. But being able to have some focused time in here is just incredible. So huge shout out to him for for taking some time and yeah. coming out here. But what do you think? Oh, I mean, it's just it's just crazy. Like the changes we made that quick. I'm really happy to see how it converts over to the course. We're gonna be playing in like two days from now, two or three mm -hmm. days. We're playing like an 18 hole stroke play. So mm -hmm. I just wanna see what those numbers, I mean, guys, those numbers, like I said with the driver, those are insane. I mean, Rory, he posted an Instagram video a while back, he hit 190 ball speed and he was like, people were freaking out. You just yeah. hit 94 and 93, like, Back to back to back. It's just crazy how fast Tig is swinging it, but I'm just really happy how he's getting a nice longer back swing. We're getting it flowing. You're hitting a little higher. Yeah. Weight's getting through. We're working on some good stuff. I'm and really excited. Yeah. I think I even said it a couple times, but like it feels so much more repeatable. Right. And it feels like it just, it feels awesome. And I've been, this is like something I've been working at for a really long time. And it feels great to like have Grant who knows how to like talk about what needs to happen instead of me just like watching my swing and trying to figure it out. So that's gonna about wrap it up for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. I'm excited to just, I mean, you guys know I'm just trying to get better. And uh, like I said, Grant's, I didn't say it, but Grant's channel is linked in the description. Stay tuned, we're gonna start doing more matches together yeah. consistently. So thanks for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. Love you guys, peace.